how to record anything from a browser. So if you're looking to save content from a limited time course for your own viewing later, or save footage from a live event, maybe make a backup of some content for yourself locally, uh, then I show you V6 can solve this for you. So let's get to it. What are you going to need? Well, you're going to need I show you version six, and you'll also need that thing you want to record. For this demo, I'm going to use a YouTube video, but the same approach will work for all non-DRM, that's digital rights management, content. The first step is to tell I show you what you want. Now, I've got a couple of monitors attached to this machine. So if you're in that case, you want to make sure that you are recording from the right screen. Now, it says display to record, there's three here. Well, let's pop up the preview and I'll show you. So look that button there. So I'm actually not recording from the right screen. Let's fix that. So it's the 3219, whatever it's called. OK, now we've got the right screen. And so this is what we're going to have recorded. But we only want this section uh, on the right. Let's close that for now. So that's easy to do. There is a crop icon on the top right here. You click that and you can then move this selection to the bit that you want. Once you've done that, just press enter. Done. You can click the little show button to confirm and that green area is what we're going to record. Now, what else is important? Well, you probably want the application audio. So make sure that you've got record application audio enabled. From there, it should be as simple as hitting record. We'll do that. Press play over here. Stop. Stop. And here's our video. Couple of other tips for you. If you know the duration of the recording, or you just want to set a time uh, that it'll stop recording, you can do that here. So we could say maybe it's 20 minutes long, or maybe it's 40. So 40 colon 00, zero enter. So that will mean that when you press record, <clears throat> you can walk away, the recording carries on, and it automatically stops after 40 minutes. Secondly, Let's say you started recording a little earlier, and it also ran slightly over time. V6 allows you to trim from the front and back really easily. So you can find the recording you made. In this case, mine is recording 7. You choose Trim and Create New Media. So this pops up a new window. And we had a little bit at the beginning here where I hadn't pressed Play. So let's get rid of that. As you can see, there's nothing going on there, and then it, it plays here. So we'll set the trim end, start and end, come across until we get some movement, get, you know, I can hold the button, and now I get really accurate framing. Oh, let's start it there. I won't bother with the end. So I click trim, and then I get another button, export trim video, two seconds to 12. Click that, and I'm done. Then you'll see there's a new recording in the, in the recent recordings list, and that's how you get the trim version. There, of course, you can open and find it or show it or do whatever you like. So I hope that's been useful. I'll see you in the next video.